G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Ian and Charmaine and with Kimi. And so today we took a list of 10 people and we are going to minister to them. Now, where did I get these names? So I, I went on to our videos uh, where we prophesied to people and, and some of you wrote your names in the comments. And so from that comments, I saw, okay, maybe we didn't minister to you. So I put your name on the list so that we can minister to you today. So if you have a desire to also receive personal prophetic ministry, I would like to invite you, write your name in the comments. I, I prayed about it and I said to the Lord, Lord, I will every day minister to 10 people. So obviously if there's more than 10 people that put their names on, uh, then those extra names will just... Uh, move on to the next day but I will take the time to minister to you in uh, 2019 the Lord gave me a word and he said to me although there's lots of prophets all over the world that give corporate words to nations and churches uh, and presidents there's not a lot of prophets that are sitting and are giving personal prophetic words to people and so that's why I, I started I got a team together and we started to minister to people. And that's what we're doing. Now, we, because it's online, we follow a very specific prophetic protocol. A protocol is from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, where it says, When you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort, and comfort. Okay? And so, therefore, we're asking the Lord, Lord, what's your heart for this person? Uh, Lord, what is the potential that you want to speak into this person's life? And so, that's what we're doing. And so, we just sit here. We receive word. We, uh, the Lord gives us pictures, uh, He shows us visions, uh, we become aware of what the Holy Spirit is saying and we just speak to you and, and our heart is to love you and to build you up and so that's why we minister uh, uh, to, to people online. Uh, so we can, I'm going to do the same thing uh, tomorrow again. Um, okay, uh, Layla, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of you, like in the army, they've got those thick uh, ropes also for a ship that you climb and it's very hard on your hands, hard on your muscle, uh, but it gives you a lot of ability, a lot of workout. And I just see how you are working at it and working at it and your hands are getting sore, uh, you feel like you're getting tired and I just hear the Holy Spirit says, you can do much more than you think is possible so it feels like you're overloaded right now but the lord says don't don't focus and say i, I cannot do this rather say if god wills i can do it and then god is just going to blow some strength and power into you and you will just be able to push on push through and get the job done be blessed Amen, Layla. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Manuel. The, the Lord shows me how you just open up to Him. And, and when you open up, you ask the Lord, Lord, search me and know me. Because He does. He knows you. He knows what is inside your heart. We don't know exactly what is in our hearts. So the Lord shows me how, how you surrender yourself. And He goes in like, like a surgeon. And He goes into your heart and He just starts to, just start to repair and take out what is like 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 a cyst that is growing on the heart something that is that is that is just clogging that is that is not working well with 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 your with your spiritual with just everything the lord shows me how he's coming in and he's fixing it but you surrender yourself you open yourself up you don't hold yourself in and closed away from god hey manuel uh, there's a real evangelistic anointing upon your life is an anointing, a healing anointing on your life. Don't hold back. Run flat out. God is going to use you in a mighty, mighty way. I just felt a strong anointing on your life. And, and all that stuff happened in the past. Don't worry about it. Go for it. All right. God bless you, Manuel. Right, so, Rita, uh, so, Rita, I see a, a, a river flowing through your life. And then you stop it. Now you say it. What, what, what? And then... You turn back to God, you open up, then the river flow again. And then after a while, you stop it again. And then what happens every time when the river of God stops, then uh, that, that, that first love, that bubbles, all of that kind of disappears. You know when you open Coca-Cola and you put it in a glass, you don't drink it immediately and you leave it like two days. Then afterwards, it's like flat. It's not that nice to drink for some people. Okay. So now what I felt the Lord says is every day, praying tongues. Every day, let that river flow. 
every day, focus on Him. Let His joy determine your life. Don't let your circumstances determine your life. Let the Spirit of God, remember the Kingdom of God, what did Jesus say? The Kingdom of God is on the inside of you. Let the Kingdom of God bubble forth the whole time. And you're going to see how that is going to change the environment around you. The Lord loves you. This is not a word of correction, although it sounds like one. But I, I just felt that, don't close that tap. Let it flow. Let it flow. God bless you, Rieta. Our next word is for Angela Parker. Angela, I saw like this computer program that was written and I saw like the the back part of it with the, the coding part of it. But I felt like how there was one part of the, the program that was like written wrongly or there was a wrong code or something and it made the program not to work the way that it should work. And I feel like how God says that you should go back and fix that problem. You should not focus on what am I going to do um, working this program? I feel like our God is saying, go back and reprogram this program so that it can work, rewrite this code so that it can work properly. And I feel like how this this is like in something that happened in your past, something that 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 you you feel like you should just wipe it away. But I feel like our God says you shouldn't wipe it away. You should rewrite it. You should shouldn't focus on the problem focus on how to correct it and i feel like how god shows me that when you take the blood of jesus and you just paint that blood of jesus over that problem over that wrong code how god shows me how something new will happen how something new will be written there and i feel like how that something new will create like a better future will create this program to work better but i feel like how Connect with God so that God can show you and help you through this process of doing this new or, or creating or making it new. Be blessed. Thank you, Angela, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Mariette. Mariette, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a, a paved road, but it's it's a bit uneven, so it's not that nice to drive on, but it's not that bad. And then I see how the road turns into a gravel road, and you're like, oh, I'm on the wrong road. I don't want to be on the gravel road and then the Lord says just keep on for a while and then I see the one of the most beautiful tar roads uh, that you can drive on and I see a lot of people turn around when they hit the gravel road when it gets difficult and I just feel in your current circumstances don't quit don't give up even though it doesn't look right just push on push through because God says he will make your ways straight be blessed Amen, uh, Maria. Please give us a comment. This next word is from Mr. Emery. The Lord shows me how how He is helping you. How the Lord shows me how you have this creative block, and and you're wondering why do I have that? And the Lord is saying, my daughter, that's because this pathway for this new creation that I want you to to bring to the earth is is not built yet. So the Lord says, have patience with yourself. Walk with Him. Walk with him. He's saying, walk with me to create this pathway of creativity to start to flow in your life. And the Lord shows me whether this is creativity to for for baking, for painting. I, I just see it is more for 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 painting. But the Lord says, walk with him and create that pathway. Be blessed. I say, Emily. Uh, I just want to say, I I just see a door of creativity opening up in your life. And so the Lord says. There's going to be creativity, there's going to be growth and new life. And so do not fear. Um, <coughs> we're not sure exactly what your future holds, especially with all the dreams and plans that you guys have. But I see creativity and new life just streaming out of you. And so when that, that door opens up, don't say, okay, no, but I must put this on hold now because of this. Now, let it flow. You're going to see, the Bible says, a, a, a king's anointing makes room for him. And I believe that the Lord has given you anointing. He's given you creativity. And that's going to make room for you. The Lord is going to supernaturally supply to you in, in every one of your needs. And I, and I feel that the, the Lord says, this year is the year of joy. <laughs> you know, in um, uh, people usually... When is it here? Yeah, in, in the end of September, beginning of October. Then we have Rosh Hashanah, and then there's a new Jewish year, and then people always say, this is what the year is. Now, I, I, don't, I haven't studied yet to, to see what the new year now is. But I know for you, 
the year is the year of joy. That's what the Lord is showing to me. And not only joy by yourself and joy in the Lord, also joy in lots of relationships. Okay, that's you, Emery. Okay, so Anami, uh, Anami, Anamarie Martin. Sorry, my eyesight not that good to see on such a long distance. So what the Lord is showing to me, he's showing to me a tank, like a military tank, but that's covered by camo, and um, the enemy is flying with their planes over, and they're even marching past. They don't even see you, but in you is the authority of God, and you are sitting in a tank. And the Lord is giving you the target and you doing intercession and you doing business and you raising your family and, and, and the enemy doesn't see you. But you are a weapon in the hands of God and you're completely covered, invincible and protected by him. And then I just see how you emerge and how you do something incredible for the kingdom of God. You are a secret weapon. God bless you. Our next word is for Christine. Christine, God loves you so much. I feel like how God says that He's giving you a new fragrance. I feel like how this fragrance is like unlocking love and peace. I feel like how when you come into somebody's presence, how they'll feel the peace and the love of joy of God in your life. Um, I also see like how God shows me that you're praying for wisdom. And I feel like how God says by in understanding wisdom comes and i feel like how you should spend time with god when you get like a scripture or when you get revelation how, how you sit with god and you ask god to break it open so that you can get more understanding about the scripture about the about the word i feel like how sometimes god shows me that you'll have a scripture on your heart like for weeks and weeks and weeks and god give god will give you revelations on this scripture like Daily, you'll have revelations on this scripture. But I feel like how God shows me that you shouldn't just keep this for yourself. I specifically see like how people come to your house, like a cell group. And I feel like how God says that when you share this word of the, this revelation and this scripture and this word with the people, how God says that just more and more scriptures and more revelations will be unlocked into your heart. Be blessed. Thank you, Christine, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us a comment. The next word is for Alida. Alida, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Newness of life. I just see like a flower that starts to, starts to bloom again. And I just see a lot of joy, how the Lord is just giving you access to a lot of joy. So the plant is not a new plant, but the flower on the plant is a new plant. And I just see in your life how there's a new season, uh, like spring, like uh, happiness, joy excitement and i just see how the lord says strap in uh, you're going to enjoy this time it's going to be busy it's going but it's going to be very very good for you as well be blessed hey man alida please leave us a comment this next word is for fsu fsu the lord shows me how the, the lord is is tethered to you and I, I, and I've heard this, and I, I, can't, I can't remember if it is a bible verse or if it's just a wonderful thing to say it's that that uh, the people are blessed because I am there because the presence of the Lord is inside of you and the Lord shows me how you pour out blessings and you pour out all of this wonderfulness because you are connected to the Lord 24 7 I see how there's like like a water just just like a like if you see like in like the movies the water is floating the Lord shows me how the water is just, just floating tethered to his throne falling flowing down and onto your head and you pour out wherever you go and the Lord says always know that he but wherever you walk that he walks before you be blessed hey if it's your coup, uh, God has uh, made you a blessed man and I just see how you're bubbling over with motivation and positivity and whenever people come into contact with you they just feel that that massive surge of energy uh, that the Lord has placed inside of you God bless you. Thank you, family. It was such a pleasure for us to minister to you. So if you would also like to receive a, a, a word like this, just write your name in the comments. Remember, you can also listen to that words and the Holy Spirit will speak to you through each one uh, of those words. Uh, also, if you want to support Unity with Heaven, there's lots of ways how you can do it. One way you can subscribe, 
you can write me a comment encourage me uh, you could even hit that like button uh, even if you want to subscribe to our newsletter you can hit that button or if you want to um, give financially to us there's also a link uh, to our paypal you can click on that and you can also give uh, i love and i appreciate each one of you have a fabulous day god bless